how to set up exit intent pop-up on a Wix studio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how easy it is to make a pop-up whenever a person wants to exit your uh, website on Wix or Wix studio. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you're going to sign in into your account. As you can see, here we have the site's dashboard after obviously we have our account signed in. So within these websites, we're going to see some normal websites and some websites contain uh, a label named built on Wix Studio like this, this one and that one. So here we have two websites that has been built on Wix Studio. If you don't have a Wix Studio website, here we are going to click on create new site then it will load up here at this page we have here the choice either with going with uh, try wix studio or creating on the standard wix editor you're going to choose here try wix studio then we are going to proceed to the next steps so here we are on our wix studio sites we are going to select this one obviously we are going to see the Wix Studio um, dashboard popping up. Here we have everything or everything that can be controlled within the website on this dashboard. So right there, we are going to click on edit site. Once you have clicked on edit site, it will load up here the website itself. Here I have preloaded the website. So you are going not to waste your time watching this tutorial. So once you are here, you're going to see that we have the website loaded. Now, all we need to do is to plan the modification that we are going to add. The first thing is to add a light box. So here, for example, I'm going to add the pop-up or the exit intent pop-up. For example, whenever the mouse is going to head over this zone or this zone or that zone, you are going or the user will get here a pop-up that can be customized by you here inciting them to shop more or giving them for example a coupon of 20 percent or a discount so we are going to head over here of the left side bar then we are going to click on add elements now we need to add a light box how we can find it easy we are going to head from these elements to layout tools once you are here we're going to see here some layout tools then we are going to select the light boxes now we are going to see here an empty light box here we have a light box that can be fixed and others so go ahead and choose whatever you are going to add from these light boxes for example i'm going to add this one then we can go ahead and edit this light box for the color maybe i'm going to change it to something like that that or even that or we can make it like this this is i think more comfortable for our eyes so maybe like this or like that i don't know now for the text areas you can go ahead and add or uh, for example save 20 percent we are going to make it here a bit um excessive like that so here we are not going to add um uh, for example this one i'm going to put here uh don't waste your discount and be the shopper for example like that and i'm going to be a best shopper for example uh here we are going not to add the uh, shop spring sale but we are going to here see the text where is it we have the button we need to add up or modify the button text so we are going to see here the text now we are going to see it like this uh, here we have it the text now for example we are going to put shop now boom here we have the light 
box uh, added. So all we need to do is to click on done. Now we are going to see here the pages. From the pages, we are going to pick up a name of the light box, then we need to copy it. For example, we are going to rename it to something more easier, like here, pop up, like this. Boom, here we have it. This is the name of it. Now, all we need to do is to head over the, I'm going to close it, click on done. We are going to head over the code. So now we are going to click on start coding and I'm going to give you the code that I'm going to use in this video on the comment or on the description section of this video. So don't um, get stressed or anything. We're going only to start the coding. So as you can see here, we have our coding area. So now we are going to here delete this uh, case. We're going to open up our file. Then we are going to copy our import Wix window because here we are going to add the window and this is our window that we are going to add. So we are going to paste that code right there. As you can see, it is written. So we are going to add it manually. For example, Wix. Here we are going to see the prompt window. Then you're going to add a Wix window from, and this is it. So this is the same code. We are going to recopy or paste it like this. This code is not going to be messed with. So we are going to add our code right there, not here, but we are going to add it like this. So we are going to, here we have some guide and tutorial. We're going to delete all of this because we don't need it. Everything can be right there into the file that we have. As you can see, we have the dollar sign or you can name it what, whatever you want. W on ready function, your parenthesis and a bracket. So we are going to get this one like that. We are going to copy and paste page to page right there. We are going to paste the first page. Then we are going to add a condition here. We are going to explain a little bit on the mouse out here for the page one. We are going to set up this page, which is the first page right there or the home page. So whenever you are going to put the uh, home page right there or the page one or the first section right there at the borders here, it can be for the first layer of the pages, second or whatever you're going to add a trigger, which is moving the mouse here, which is called on mouse out event. Then we're going to add a condition, which is this one. So we are going to add the code right there. As you can see, we are going to put a condition, which is if the uh, event client Y, which is the vertical here, um, calculation, vertical like this, the Y is here under or uh, increased of the 30. For example, here 30 is the uh, pixelated or uh, the calculated pixel in this vertical area. So we have uh, made an assumption that it is going to be from 24 to 30. So I am going to give it here from 30 to above or right there like that. So we are going to here, let it like that. Then we need only to copy the rest of the code right there. So now we have made everything. Now we are going to click on publish. But before that, I have uh, here uh, made or forgot something. Here, as you can see on the Wix window, open light box. We need to set up the name of the light box. Here we are going to put the right name of it like this. And this is the code. So now we are going to click on publish. We are going to save and continue. And we are going to wait for our website to be published. Now we are going to view the website and see if everything is in order.
but here I have forgot something also that is going to be here uh, vital, which is here going to the uh, as you can see the pop up. Then we are going to set the triggers. Click on set the triggers, then automatically display the light box. We are going to put it no, and then we are going to publish this setting. This will prevent the light box to uh, here pop up at any time. So we need it only in one condition, which is heading over the window and leaving. So you're going to see that. As you can see, when you are going to hover uh, about or over the page to exit it, as you can see, we have the pop up. I'm going to do it for the third time, like that. Boom. As you can see, the uh, animation is a bit here uh, slow. So maybe we cannot catch uh, the customer like this. Maybe they will just ignore it like that. So we are going to add a prefetch code to uh, make it a little bit here um, faster. So we are going to head over the Wix website editor. Then we are going to click on done here. We're going to open up our code. Then we are going to add another line to the code. So we are going to uh, here add this code, which is the second part. We are going to copy the first part where right there, import Wix site from Wix site. We're going to paste it right there. Give it here a, a space. Then we are going to add up here this element. Boom. Now for the uh, light box, we have the name of it. So we are going to prefetch it and make it faster, which is pop up in our case. Remember to use here the uh, right name of your pop up uh, right there or the light box that you have added. I'm going to click on publish again. So now all we need to do is to refresh the page and see. So it is a little bit here, as you can see, it is a little bit lighter and boom, here we have it. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.